Every year the school funding situation gets worse. But we are expected to do more and more and although the money is rising, we are still underfunded. Well, unfortunately, the past decade of underfunding has meant that now well over 50% of schools in Northern Ireland are operating in financial deficits. So this isn't just about education funding uh, for the future. There has to be funding to restore what has been removed from the past. Small schools have always been vulnerable and a lot of small schools across the country have closed over time. In the past, we were subsidised by the county. Uh, that is now stopping, and so our internet um, costs will be going from 2,500 up to 6,000. And obviously that's an impact and that's going into the budget to take away from what we're doing to support the children. 96% of what schools spend is on staffing, which means that the 4% of spend uh, that is left over after paying for the basic level of staff is what is used to pay for electricity, for heat, for water and so on. What is left after that to support learning and teaching? Inevitably it is our most vulnerable children who suffer. The NEHT are raising the awareness, taking it to Parliament and a parliamentary group that if they don't step up to this and be supporting the funding for schools then they will cease to be in their communities. We need to act swiftly but have a very, very clear plan about how we are going to improve the education system in England and indeed in the UK. School leaders are the people who have been holding together a broken system for the past 10 years. The NHT are behind you and are talking to the government the whole time. The encouragement, the, the empowerment that they actually give you in your day-to-day -day roles, I couldn't have done without it. It's part of a community of people who are wanting the very, very best for our profession. When our collective voice is heard on behalf of our children, it can't be ignored.